A long, long time ago, there was a leader named Tree. Tree is a leader of the UHW tribe. One day, Tree gets a disturbing message. Her community is in danger. There's a storm coming. The storm will destroy their food, their supplies. The tribe is only able to harvest food between summer and fall. The tribe then uses the harvested vegetables as food all winter long. Living in caves provides them ample protection from the sun, but the caves can't protect them from the heavy rain that El Nino will bring. Huts would be much safer. Right now, they have some supplies they could use to build huts, but they will need a lot more from the forest to house the entire tribe. And time is running out. Tree knows the tribe needs her leadership, and she creates a plan to build huts for the whole community. She chooses three leaders to carry out her plans, Ash, Sage, and Sky. Ash wastes no time and gets right to work. She goes into the forest by herself, gathers up supplies, and then starts building huts on her own. She works countless hours without any breaks to try and achieve her goal of building these huts alone. Sage made a different choice. He realized that if he built relationships with five other members of the tribe and got them involved in helping build the huts, the process could be faster. Sage trains these five activists to become hut building leaders so they are able to help him build huts on a slightly larger scale than Ash. As their leader, Sage has to check in with each activist, working with them individually to ensure they are meeting their goals. Although these activists are building huts on their own, there is still room for improvement and the process is slow. Seeing Ash and Sage struggle, Skye thought she wanted to do things differently. She knew she didn't want to try building all the huts alone, like Ash. And while Sage's relationships with individual community members resulted in more houses going up, it just wasn't enough. Sage needed to build these huts on scale, faster than the storm that was approaching. And suddenly, she realized what she needed to do. She had relationships with some of her tribe's members already. People she knew had good relationships with others. She asked them to become her super leaders. She then empowered these three super leaders to build and lead a team of five members each. Sky focuses on her relationships with these super leaders and on helping them with their relationships with their team members. While the super leaders work directly with their members, Sky keeps an eye on the bigger picture and ensures that each team has the resources and support they need to reach their goals. And because each super leader knows their ultimate goal, they are free to improvise as needed. Sky's super leaders and their teams build huts for everyone just days before the storm reaches their community. In the end, the village survives the storm because of Skye's ability to find her leaders and build effective teams. What about you? Are you an Ash, a Sage, or a Skye? To solve big problems, we need big leadership. We need you to be like Skye. We need our member leaders to be like Skye. Because that's our future.